we begin, you're probably wondering where in the H-E double shell gas station. Ethan, we are not going to the 7-Eleven in the shell gas station just so you can try and get some wee bass soda. But come on! I said no! All jokes aside, you're probably wondering where the Ben 10 crossover special is. Well, in case you didn't know, we're reviewing this show in chronological order, meaning we won't reach Heroes United until later this October. However, we are shifting a few gears around, as I don't feel comfortable jumping from the fall of Abacis to Heroes United. So instead of it being episode 10 and 11, we'll be moving it to episode 9 and 10, respectfully. We hope you understand, and hope that this makes our Tuesday schedule more crystal clear. Until then, let's move on to some more Trash or Treasure. EP Artiverse! This week, Rex visits Noah at his new job, where Noah acts as a page for a Hollywood studio. When Rex ruins Noah's jacket, he tries to take it to the cleaners only to sneak into the set of his favorite Spanish soap opera and take over Noah's job. But when Rex finds an evil mongoose sabotaging the studio, threatening the show's cancellation, Rex is caught in a web of mischief where he must balance trying to save Noah's job and stop the rampaging Evo to save his show. Now, I usually try not to be super biased when it comes to our reviews on this channel, but this episode managed to take the cake on what is the worst episode episode of Generator Rex, officially dethroning Robo Bobo. Let's talk about the pauses first. The score is probably the strongest part of the episode where every theme manages to attract its wacky tone. And some themes I can actually vibe with. Moving on to the story itself, it isn't a complete waste. This episode really exists just to answer what Noah has been up to since the time jump. And while it's cool to have an answer to that, I wouldn't say it's necessary to make a whole episode about that, especially when the rest of the story is just the show's attempt to recreate an earlier episode in the series. Operation Wingman, which it's where I get to my negative thoughts. Pretty much, Rex is a punching bag yet again. From the staff at the Hollywood studio to the evil mongoose Mongo, it's the only amount of action that is poured into this storyline, probably because of Cartoon Eric's mandate to keep it an action show, which honestly, it would have benefited without the action. And I wasn't a fan of the last minute running gags, nor was I a fan of how overreactive these new characters were. We do receive a few continuity references, however, like this is the soap opera Rex was watching throughout last season. But other than that, there are a few continuity errors, like nobody acknowledges how famous Rex is despite being in a very famous environment. You'd think he'd have a few fans. There's also quite a few animation errors, and the most notable one is Rex's eye color being blue throughout various scenes. Though the animation is very playful enough to allow Rex to interact with the environment, there's quite more errors that leave me very divisive about how I feel in the art department. Also, how is this the first episode in the series to show blood? If you're a soap opera fan or you love the goofiness of this show, this one's for you. While this story has an interesting concept, the team and I were not a fan of its execution. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We give Phantom of the Soap Opera a 3 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious, kid. Uh, anytime you want to stop trying to get me fired and back to the tour. 